What's up, P Nation? Today we're in Athens, Greece, and we're gonna show you how much it is to stay, see, and eat in this city. Good morning, it is a beautiful morning in Athens. We are up early to walk to the Parthenon, but first, we are trying to find some good street food for cheap. I wish I knew the name of this, but this is just like a very Greek breakfast. And it's just, I think it's just dough that's like cooked and it's got tons of sesame seeds on it. And most Greeks eat it for breakfast, but you can find them all day long. Okay, now we're gonna go over the currency conversion between the US dollar and the Euro. So one Euro is about a dollar and 12 cents. Five Euros is about 5.58. 10 Euro is about 11.16 and 20 is 22. So it's a bit comparable. You just have to think in US dollars, you're spending a little bit more than the price that you're seeing here. We're spending about $40 a night. That's about 36 euro. So we're staying in Airbnb. Hotels in Greece are very expensive, so Airbnb is the way to go. We were told by a local that he's like, you, if you're here and you're on a budget, you need to go with Airbnb. So we're staying in a nice apartment. It's about $40 a night. And it's kind of like not in the best location, but it's in a walkable distance to the Acropolis and all of the fun places that you want to visit while you're here in Athens. We have our own bedroom with a queen size bed. It has a little kitchenette, it's own bathroom, it's own like entryway, and it's own living room with two balconies. And no, it is not as inexpensive as Southeast Asia. We've gotten pretty used to our hotels being $17 a night, but you can't expect that kind of deal here in Europe if you're looking for some nice accommodation. Okay, so Leah just told you guys that we are spending over $40 a night on this room. And I just wanna give you guys an update that there are options that are 10 to $20, all with Airbnb. I looked on a GoTo and Booking.com and I did not find any that were in that price range. So, to counter her, if you are looking for the Southeast Asia experience slash trying to stay underneath $50 a day, that is definitely doable here because you can get a room or even an apartment for $10. Okay, so now on to transportation. So the subway is probably your easiest bet. Tickets for the subway are two euro to six euro, depending on how far you're going. Buses are a little bit cheaper than that. Taxis will always be six euros or more. That's gonna be your most expensive option. They don't have Uber here. Well, they do, but Uber is just a form of ordering your taxi and then it will come and pick you up. So that doesn't really help you out. Also, if you're in the city and you're a tourist, you can get a hop on, hop off bus that just passed by. It's 16 euros for a whole day. And you get to go to all the major tourist sites. Taking the train, two trips each, 260, I think it was. To get into the Acropolis and the Parthenon and all the little surrounding um, ruins is $20. Everything today is free because they're celebrating something about monuments. So we got into the Acropolis for free. That means everything's gonna be super packed today. So we gotta go. <laughs> So we are here at the Parthenon, at the top of the Acropolis, and as we said before, it is free today, which is miraculous. That's crazy. But it also means there's a ton of people up here, but that's okay, because you know, like, you have to take the good and the bad, so we can have to pay. There's a lot of people up here. If, if you do come and you do have to pay, you should definitely get here when it opens at 8 o'clock, yeah. which we didn't know. We got here at like 8.45, but still. Someone won't wake up in the morning. But it's okay. I mean, this place is really beautiful. It's ancient. It's crumbling. There's like marble everywhere. I'm just like looking at these pieces of marble and wondering how they even got it up here. Like honestly, how? Okay. 
So we learned that there are eight columns in the front, the two on the sides are thicker than the ones in the middle, and it's 17 columns long. So this is the Temple of Athena, and if we go over here, this is the Temple of Zeus, and they are both built in 400 BC. That is crazy, they're almost 2,500 years old. Okay, that was awesome. We are done now. We've been here for about two hours, which you yeah. could do this in like four. However, the sun, as you can see, is so bright and it is so hot. And if you yeah. don't wear sunscreen, you're gonna be in trouble. We didn't wear sunscreen, but <laughs> we're talking about Costa. So this is like the main attraction here in Athens. There's plenty of other stuff to see, mm -hmm. but it will cost you 20 euros to get in. However, miraculously today it was free. We don't know how this happened. We did not plan it. It's a miracle. So just plan on spending 20 euros per person if you're coming to the Parthenon. Also, since we're already over here by it, I wanted to tell you about the Acropolis Museum, which I highly recommend you see before visiting the Acropolis. It definitely gives you a sense of what you're in. It is 10 euros to get in, which isn't too bad considering that it has a lot of old artifacts and some of the marbles from the actual Acropolis. Okay, now that we just got done with the Parthenon, we are hungry, of yes. course, so we're about to show you some prices and places for lunch. Yeah! Okay, so we are on the hunt for food. We left the place we're in, what is that called? The Plaka? Because yeah. prices there are ridiculous. Pro tip, when you're in Greece, you should definitely eat your biggest meal at lunch. It tends to be a lot cheaper. Most people eat street food at lunch, which I get, like you wanna eat a lighter meal. But to save money on dinner, you just eat street food at dinner and your actual meal at lunch. Yeah. Now we made it to lunch, so we're looking at a pretty normal menu. The seating is outside. We've noticed that a lot of places have like eating inside and outside and also like across the street. Like one restaurant has both sides of the street and the menus are big and everything sounds delicious. Okay, so let's open this menu. Greek salad in most places is five to six euros, but other salads are actually cheaper. They just charge more for Greek salads. I don't really know why. Seafood from the Mediterranean is seven to 10 euros. And now we're at the traditional section. So moussaka is 560, which is actually a pretty good price for that. Meatballs and tomato sauce is also 560. So as you can see, the traditional dishes are cheaper. Now to the euros, which is apparently what they're famous for here. They are five to 10 euros, depending on what kind of meat and how loaded you want it. And then keeping with sandwiches, kebab sandwiches are actually a lot cheaper. This is a street food price, 350 euro. Soft drinks are mostly at 150 euro. And beer is mostly less than 250 euro. Okay, so we just ordered and I want to tell you that it will always be more expensive if you sit at the restaurant. This place has a lot of people coming in and out with like deliveries because if you take away, then it's normally a euro to two euro cheaper. That's all I've ever wanted. Olive oil and dill and creamy yogurt sauce all together with this amazing bread. It kind of tastes like sourdough, like San Francisco sourdough. Really good. Okay, so this was the kebab drama and it has 10 pieces of kebab, pita, yogurt sauce, onion, and tomato, and the classic chicken gyro. Fresh pita, chicken, tomato, lettuce, some yogurt sauce, and even french fries. This is pastizio. It's basically macaroni noodles with meats, mints, and bechamel sauce on top. For some reason, this pasta is served with fries. <laughs> that meal is absolutely delicious, exactly what we needed after exploring the Parthenon. And what's so great about eating at Greek restaurants is they'll usually give you a small little dessert for free. So they gave us halvas. He says it's sweet and it has orange flavor. All right, so that meal was amazing, and now we're gonna take you to a grocery store because we are looking for some chocolate. Show you some prices of local items here. So there's a lot of mom and pop shops here, however, we're gonna go into an established grocery store. It's called the Bazaar. 
Okay, so normally in countries we go to, street food is always our best bet. However, here it's a little bit more expensive. So we find when we eat out, it's like 25 euro. When we get street food, it's like 10 euro for two people. And then when we eat at the grocery store for dinner, it's normally six euro. Obviously it's not as good, but to save money, this is where you want to be. So the price of bottled water is pretty cheap. 37 cents. However, you don't need to buy bottled water while you're here in Athens because the tap water is okay to drink. Okay, so now to the chips section. Lay's will cost you one euro 54 cents. Pringles cost about the same as Lay's, 2.46. And a can of Coke runs you about 66 cents. And some ouzo, which we highlighted in our other video, costs 2.42. <laughs> We always do Oreos in every city we go to, and here they are one euro and 56. And for some reason, granola bars, which we love back in the States, are some of the most expensive things you can get for breakfast. At 342, it's more expensive than even a euro. A pack of crackers in all these flavors will cost you 58 cents. And fruit on the street is often cheaper than fruit in here, but Leah found an apple like this for 18 cents. We found the chocolate. My favorite is this triple caramel chocolate, and it is 136 euro. Okay, we actually got strawberry chocolate, and now we are heading back to the Parthenon, or the Acropolis area, to look at the rest of Adrian's ruins. Okay, so we just made it here to the first site of the Modern Olympics. They were hosted here in 1896, and this stadium was actually on the grounds of the same stadium that was built before Christ. That is crazy. So it is five year old person to get in here wherever you can look from the outside for free, but if you're a history buff like I am about the Olympics and world sports, you need to get in this place. So now we made it to the Placa where souvenirs are super cheap, but restaurants are way too expensive. Please don't try and eat here. If you want to, you can, but it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Sorry, all of this menu is in Greek. However, we're trying to show you that these euros are all under about three euros. So these euros are half the price of the ones we had at lunch and they are street food and they are so much better. I don't know how they're so much better, but they're so much better. I think it has more sauce, a little bit more greasy. I don't know, all around it is much better. And now let's get into today's expenses. Okay, so here's a look at one day in Athens in the euro. So our hotel, like we said before, was 36 euro per night. Breakfast, you can easily get that on the street for about two. The metro for two people cost 5.6. Acropolis is usually 20 euro per person, but today was free. Lunch cost us 23.5. If the Acropolis was not free today, our total cost for this day in Athens would be 128 euro. It's approximately $144. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you figure out how much your trip to Athens would cost. Ruins is $20 or 20 pounds. Euros. 20 euros. <laughs> okay, so we have made it to lunch. And what we really like is eating up. Doggy. Why? Because being in Greece is really all about relaxing. 